Hello everybody, Paul Warostek here, spiritual teacher, intuitive healer. What is up? I hope everybody had a good 4th of July, um, Independence Day, or recovering well today. Um, love to everybody. Thanks to all the new people that are messaging me, subscribing to my YouTube Following me on Facebook and share, share, sharing, spreading this word. Um, it's been really intense. The energy is extremely intense. I looked at the astrology of everything that's going on and man, deep, intense, inner hurts coming out. Um, really ultra sensitive, right? How many of you are feeling ultra sensitive? I'm going live tomorrow night. Okay, so Friday the 6th, I'm going live at... Six o'clock, I think I'm going to do this time, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Um, that's tomorrow night, all right? So, lots to talk about. So, if you could join me then, if not, watch it. Watch it when you can. Much to talk about. This is just a little short video. I want to remind people that... July 6th and 7th, uh, so that's starting tomorrow, is the group meditation that I'm doing. So if anybody's interested, uh, it's $25. Email me, message me, I'll get you signed up. It usually always goes an extra day longer. So if, you, if people don't see this until tomorrow and they want to sign up, I'll extend it. Okay, so it's where I'm channeling, I'm connecting to whoever signed up. In I'm connecting to their higher self and bringing them the healing and the chakra rebuilding, uh, for uh, and and to be able to adjust a lot better to the shift that's going on and the shift that's coming in. So it's it's a, it's a, like out of the old old codes being removed from your chakra system and then replacing it and recentering and restructuring your electromagnetic field. And I think it's uh it's just an amazing uh, thing to happen for this shift, right? Every time I do these things, it's from my higher self. That's the only reason why I do these group meditations is because my higher self tells me to do them. So anybody's interested, message me. Anybody that didn't, that signed up, um, that didn't get invoices, let me know. Okay. And I'll resend them. Maybe they went in the spam folder. So the great Buddha dude says, and it's true that when we are experiencing intense emotions, okay, uh, and a lot of these emotions that, that you're feeling right now, this super intense time, is uh, it all boils back down to, to childhood. It boils back down to attachments, fears, okay? This is a really, this fear is the key word of what's going on here. All of the, all of the pain that you're experiencing is fear releasing okay if we could only sit in it that's what the great buddha dude said sit in it think about it feel it instead of running from it right we spend so much of our time and so much of our lives are programmed into thinking that we have to do anything we can to run away from pain right it's survival isn't it? It's survival, fight or flight. But understanding that this shift, this shift of energy, this constant shift of energy that we're going through, this purging that we're going through is shifting all of the dark stuff that you've been running from. Sit in it. Sit in the fire. Sit in the pain. Because when you're sitting in that pile of pain and it is so overwhelming and it is collapsing and crushing you, when you release the idea that it's crushing you and you understand and thank Universal Oneness for showing you this, uh, showing you your truth in these moments that that fight or flight is an old program. Now, if a grizzly bear is chasing you, yes, please run. It's definitely your best interest. Okay? Flight. Don't fight a grizzly bear. But any other situation, it's avoidance 
avoidance, 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 okay? So we don't want to feel the pain. We don't want to feel the loss. We don't want to feel the hurt. Fear of being alone, fear of being abandoned. Super intense time. Relationships, if anybody's relationships are taking a hit right now, just go with the flow. Always come back into light. A lot of people are moving. A lot of people are changing jobs. As This is still Scorpio in Jupiter or Jupiter in Scorpio, okay, until November. So this is about deaths. Um, this is about purging, like deaths of, deaths of old energy within us, deaths, deaths within old thought forms. And there are people that are going to pass, okay? There's people that aren't handling this shift too well, and they're meant to pass, okay? They're meant to go. So it's a very difficult time for everybody. A lot of healers aren't, a lot of healers, and especially the brightest of lights, are being um, challenged, challenge, challenge, and it's easier to back down into human mode than it is to stand your ground and to be a light worker. And if you go back in my YouTube videos, I don't even know how many there are now, but at least the past year or two, I've been talking about this. I've been trying to prepare everybody for this shift, this shift that's happening. Okay. It's really, really intense. But the astrological signs right now with Venus and Pluto and Jupiter and Scorpio and I won't get into too many details about it, but it boils down to this. This is super intense fear. Okay, this is this is a lot of fear. This is external fear feeding your internal fear. So it's not just fear. It's mass consciousness of fear and a lot of energies externally negative energies want you to feel fear. This is the time where it's really difficult, but it's ultra important to hold your light, okay? Hold your light. That means no matter how much. You know, it's like there's, there comes a time where we break to where it's collapsing so much and it's so bad and it's so dark and we'll fight for our entire lives and then one day we'll just be like, all right, you know what? Crush me. Go ahead. And what we find in this big pool of collapsing blackness around us, just under that, is this giant, beautiful crystal, okay? This freedom. Freedom. The stuff isn't to hurt you, it's so you can flourish. And when you can step back and look at everything going on and say, no, my life isn't collapsing. I'm going to be okay no matter what. No matter what. Nothing can stop you. You are light. You're the only one that can stop you if you let yourself lose the thought that you are light. Okay? It's real easy now for light workers to back down and say, no, I'm just... It's just too tough. It's just too tough. I'm going to, um, I don't need to do light work right now. I can just go back and get a regular job and just do what I normally do um, because it's just too much. It's just too intense. There's so much stuff going on inside people that it's really hard for them to show up and be the light for everybody. But I can because nothing is going to stop me from shining. And nothing should stop any of you from shining. If we can just sit back and understand that this is just a program, this is just a matrix, it's an illusion in a way. Okay? And once we realize that this can't hurt us, and we can sit back and watch the chaos, the reason why I could do the work that I do is because I grew up in chaos. I grew up in the most gut-wrenching, vomiting darkness and mental uh, abuse and, and uh, emotional abuses and everything else going on to where I learned to be totally calm and comfortable in the fire. Instead of uh, running around like everybody else. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm human. And I go through that all like everybody else, but 
I know how to reel myself back in. And I know what's truth. And I know what's light. Okay? And your light. So, live, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Uh, any last... I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to have to end this. Um, we'll talk more tomorrow. Okay, so anybody wants to get on with that this group meditation this weekend, I'm channeling. I'm not going to be getting back to people with emails. You'll just be receiving the healing, okay? It's in the downgrades and the outloads of old codes, okay? So love to everybody. Let it be done, and so it is done. <laughs>